Hi everybody, thanks for pressing play on my video today. It's Caroline here from craftycarolinecreates.blogspot.co.uk Today's project is a really cute little box that pops open like this and inside we have four really cute little note cards that I've made using the fabulous watercolour wing set from Stamping Up. I've been showcasing quite a bit on my blog and over here on YouTube using these larger images and this project uses the smaller images along the bottom to make this smaller butterfly. And I think these are really quite cute, very pretty little, little set. This set uses Wisteria Wonder for the box um, and the butterflies are Perfect Plum on the edge and Blackberry Bliss in the middle. I'm just going to fold that up so you can see how that goes away like that. Um, I've also made some more note cards, this time using Watermelon Wonder, Real Red and Cherry Cobbler. And what I've done on this one, you can see I've um, used the thin lights to stamp out thanks in that case and hello in that case. And I've also heat embossed the butterfly bodies. Can you see that? So I thought it would be a nice idea to make a box in the same colours to fit these notelets. So we'll pop those over there and we'll get started with two pieces. Oh, of cardstock in um, Watermelon Wonder. These measure, the smaller piece measures three and a half inches by nine and a half inches, and the larger piece measures 10 inches by three and three quarter inches. All of the measurements are over on my blog and I will link in the down bar below so you can pop over and see those. The first thing we've done, as you can see on this example, is stamp all over using this really cute little three dot set from Watercolor Wings. And I've just done tone on tone stamping, so I've used the matching watermelon wonder ink pad to do that. As often find in my videos, I did that in advance, a good Blue Peter moment, um, just to save a little bit of time on the video. So just a, a random pattern well spaced out. Once you've done that stamping, you are ready to do some scoring. So I'll just make a bit of room here on the table and bring in my scoreboard. Okay. So we are going to do um, the larger piece of cardstock first and um, we are going to score that along the long end, so the long end here, at five and a quarter inches and at six inches. Okay, so just two score lines on there, can you see those? Yeah. Put that to one side and we are going to bring in the smaller piece of cardstock which we are going to score on the long side at three and three quarter inches, four and a half inches, eight and a quarter inches, and at nine inches, okay? Turn it round to the um, short sides at the top and we're just gonna do one score line here at three and three, sorry, at three, sorry, three quarters of an inch. Just one line at three quarters of an inch. Okay, that's all the scoring we're doing, so we're going to put that away now. And I'm going to just quickly fold and burnish along. Oh, that'll be my scoreboard falling over. Apologies about that. Score and burnish along all um, of those score lines. Okay, and I'll do this other piece while I have my pull my scoring tool out. Okay, I'll just put that away for one moment. We're not going to use that just yet. What we're going to do with this piece is fold this up into um, an open top box. If you've watched a lot of my videos, you'll have seen this done a few times before. So we're just going to cut up all of those score lines to the first, horror, the first line that goes in the opposite direction. We're going to cut off completely that very end square there and then we're just going to quickly notch out our flaps here, our two flaps that we have there and all that does is it just helps us to fold it up into a much more professional finish, sorry about that, knock the tripod, let's bring it all back in. Okay, I'm going to use um, Tombow in this case to fold up my box. First thing we're going to do is just put some Tombow along that single flap there. Oh, I'm running out of Tombow. There we go. Don't want too much so that it all squirts out, but you need enough that it will stick. 
could use fuse um, or any other strong adhesive steel is probably a little bit too weak. So just fold that over and that then pops up. Fold in um, your two outside flaps like that. And this seam here, where we've got a seam here, is going to be the back. So we want to fold the flap at the back forward and then the front flap will go through and all your seams will then be at the back of the box. So we just want to put a bit of tumble again along here. There we go. And we're just going to fold that up beautifully like that. So that is our little box made that is going to hold our cards. That is then going to bring in this flap, which was the other piece we made. And this is just going to basically stick on the bottom there like that. Because you can see that is then going to fold over like that. Okay. So just going to put quite a bit of glue, um, again, just using Tombow on the back of my box. Oh, gone over the edge a little bit. I think I need to get some more Tombow out go I don't know about you but I'd like to try and get every last bit out of these tumble tubes so just line that up um, at the bottom um, of your card of your flap oh give it a second more to dry before you pick it up so you can do it whatever way you feel best I didn't do that too well but you get the idea so we stick that on there like that you can get your bone folder and push that into um, inside just to help that stick down for a second. Oh, stop knocking the tripod, Caroline. And there we can see that is beautifully like that. Okay, so that's the basis of our box ready. All we need to do is do this lovely decoration, which is the, I guess, the exciting bit. The first thing I have done is I've just taken a, piece, a scrap of Whisper White cardstock and I have used the bold butterfly framelits to cut out this relief um, which aligns perfectly with the stamped image. And then I'm going to use the two and a half um, inch circle punch. And I'm just going to stamp that, I'm just going to punch that by eye, so getting my butterfly pretty much in the middle of what is going to punch out there. Okay. I also need to now start stamping um, my butterfly. The colours I'm going to use, as I said, is um, Watermelon Wonder is obviously going to be in there somewhere. I'm also going to use Real Red and then Cherry Cobbler. So three red colours getting gradually darker, just as we have done on all my other videos. If you want to see um, some more water, watercolour wing stamping, do head over um, to my blog. Um, and there's lots of links to other videos on there. So the first stamp I'm going to use is this solid image here. I'm going to stamp that one in Watermelon Wonder. So let's ink that up and stamp that in Watermelon Wonder. There we go. We'll move that one out of the way so I don't use the wrong one. Does anybody else do that? Stamp um, in the wrong ink pad, I'm sure. I'm not the first. Then this um, is this image, so the middle image, um, so I'm just going to look through the stamp and over the top and stamp that down and that puts a nice real red um, rim around the edge of my wings that I've already stamped. And then the last one we're going to use is the Cherry Cobbler and I'm going to use this little image which I'm not sure if you can even see very well but there's like a little stamp set here which when we ink it up in cherry cobbler which is probably my favorite red puts a nice little um focus on the inside of our wings there it's not picking up too well on the camera I'm afraid ladies but hopefully you get the idea then going to bring in my circle punch again and what we need to do is make sure that when we punch it out our image that we've just stamped centers up there like that so what i tend to find the easiest way to do that is just to get a um a little glue dot i'm just going to put that on the middle of the punched butterfly and i'm just going to stick that where i want it 
There we go. And I don't know if you can see that very well, but I'm just going to um, push that in and then use that circle that we've stuck down as a guide for punching out my butterfly and that will make sure that they're all on top of each other um, when we line them up like this and then I'm going to take another white disc okay, I'm just going to gently peel that off with that little glue dot you could always use a reposition of glue if you wanted and um, glue dots just that little bit quicker and as it's going to be coloured up I'm not too bothered about it not coming off too neatly just going to stamp before we do that I'm just going to stamp onto this butterfly the body which is there is a tiny little stamp here which is the butter the body of the little butterfly so put that on this is early espresso ink I'm just going to stamp that in the middle of my butterfly like that let's put this away as well and I'm just going to pop this up on some dimensionals so you're just going to put dimensionals over this one where you can't where you're not going to be able to see them I want to make sure it's going to stick so I'm putting quite a few on and also I find the more dimensionals you put on the more it stays dimensional especially if you are going to post it sometimes if you just put a few dimensionals on it can get a bit squished in the post so I really want to make sure that this stays popped up so lots of dimensionals I do love um, gifting gifting cards and these sort of boxes I think are a great way of doing that. So now I'm just going to line those two circles up with my butterfly and with each other and we can press those down like that. Okay, so we've now we've got a little bit of a 3D thing going on similar to this one here. Okay, now I'm going to take my cards and their matching envelopes and these are the stamping up note cards and pop them inside my box and then what we need to do is make our um, our butterfly so it's like becomes that catch for our flap to to pop underneath so I have some of what is probably my favorite ribbon at the moment and getting a bit low I have ordered some more it's the um, wistful white satin ribbon and I'm just going to take that and wrap that round my box like this so the sort of you can kind of guess the sort of level that you want it to be at and I'm sort of thinking about there okay so what I'm going to do is take my glue dots again and I'm just going to use my snips as I forgot my piercing tool just to pop a glue dot on either side of the box that one there And one on this side where you want your ribbon to go. Oh, that one's come off, stuck to my thumb. See if I can push it on. There we go. And then you can just bring your ribbon round and use the glue dot to hold it in place. Okay, and now you are going to add um, some glue to the butterfly, so don't worry at this stage if you don't think. And I'm going to be a bit naughty and use my paper snips to cut ribbon, which you shouldn't really do but I forgot my big scissors so there's a ribbon coming round I'm just going to trim that off a little bit more okay just going to use another glue dot to stick those at the edges of the ribbon together oh this is sticking to me today. Okay. So you want to pull it relatively taut so that when your flap goes down, it will stay there. This um, I'm going to slide behind there like that. So that is going to um, just hide, help to hide that gap. And I think it just gives it a neater finish. So it is literally just a piece of um, whisper wipe crunched out with that two and a half inch circle punch going to take a little bit oh, this is new that's my new tombow I haven't finished this one yet I brought another one just in case this one did give up I think it's no nope, still getting a bit so I'm just going to put some glue on the bottom half of that circle 
hopefully you're still with me. I'm just going to push that underneath the ribbon like that, but stick that down um, onto my box in the middle. So we're kind of by eye getting it in the middle of the ribbon and in the middle of the box. Okay. Then I'm going to put some more um, tombow on the back. on the back of my um, butterfly that I've just made. I was just checking I've done that right. So lots of glue on the back of the butterflies that I've just made. And then this little butterfly is going to stick on top of that circle that we've just stuck down. Okay, and because that circle's already stuck to the box at the bottom, you'll then still be able to bring out your flap and as I said, when they open it up, you can see the gorgeous cards inside. Um, and then when you're ready to close it, you pop that back on. I'm just going to give that tombow a second more to dry because that's not quite dried yet. Okay, and then you can pop that underneath the circle and underneath the ribbon. And it closes beautifully like that. Oh. Oops. It, well, it should close beautifully like that. Okay, I'm going to shut up now. It's gone on for long enough. Those are the two projects. If you have any um, questions, please do not hesitate to get in touch. Um, and if I can help with any Stampin' Up! products, do give me a shout. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.